The judgment was clear, simple, straightforward. The conference, the eighth conference of the ANC KZN uh, 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 province, that which was held on the fact to the uh, 8th of uh, December 2015. It's unlawful. That's what I, I feel relieved. Um, the previous sitting, the first sitting that we had uh, three weeks ago, was clearly indicating that uh, we have got facts and un undisputable facts. It's unfortunate that uh, people that we were, we were you know, questioning, they thought that they've got the correct facts. Uh, but I think today the court has uh, proven that uh, we had a uh, genuine, genuine and legitimate uh, 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 relief to, to, to sort from the court. And uh, what would you guys like to see happen from this point going forward? Uh, one, I would like to see this PEC out as of today. They are unlawful. Secondly, I would expect the NEC uh, to, to act the way it's supposed to act, in a, in a justifiable way, respectable way, dignified way, uh, and, 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 and do what they are supposed to do. That is ruling the ANC fairly, without any functions. And um, the ANC case, and the current uh, people that you guys have won against at court, they've been saying to the media that they intend going to hire courts to, to challenge this decision. Um, what would your response be to that? Let them not waste their time. This is a constitutional matter. They have broken the constitution of the ANC. They have broken the constitution of the, of the country. So taking the matter up to the constitutional court is just a waste of money. It's a waste of resources. If I were them, I would be sitting down seeking you know, to negotiate with whoever. Uh, other than taking the matter to court. It's, it's, it's a useless uh, uh, exercise to do. They, they don't need actually even to, to, to do that. In terms of you know the recent spate of political killings, do you feel that after this judgment there could be, could be more killings? Do you feel uh, KZN could become more violent? What are your thoughts on that? I'm a believer. I believe in God. I always pray that this bloodshed is unnecessary. I, I, and I think uh, whoever was perpetrating this, these uh, unnecessary killings, they'll come to their senses. They'll just face reality to say, uh, wrong it's wrong. You know, let's just do things correct. Uh, I, I, I'm praying always every day that uh, we, you know, uh, retain peace and stability in our province.